Virgo, I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is a late weekly reading for you guys from the 19th through the 23rd, midweek to the end of the week. And what's going on with you guys? Let's just tune in, see what the rest of the week has for you. I'm hoping that it's something quite positive. So let's get straight into it, ladies and gents. What's going on with those Virgos here? By the way, I'm gonna be doing single readings for you guys here shortly. So if you're single, be on the lookout for that as well. What's going on with you, Virgos? Around this time. Let's get two more shuffles. The overall thing that Virgos are gonna be dealing with, those Virgos that are tuning in. All right. <clears throat> King of Swords, the Full Energy, the Hermit. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, look, I feel that you're most certainly dealing with someone, but there's a, a lack of mutual interest in this connection, guys. And I feel someone is a bit reposed, all right? Or rather, aloof, you can say. Someone here wants to take a leap of faith, while the other individual isn't so keen to jumping so quick. Let's see how this goes. I, I really see an individual moving towards you, really wanting to connect with you, really wanting to take that leap of faith towards you. That's really what I'm seeing here, Virgo. But let's see how this goes. I'm gonna be tuning in um, to the overall energy as well as your energy and the person you're dealing with. So, <clears throat> whoa. So let's, give, let's begin. What's going on with this King of Swords? Who's this King of Swords? Are you dealing with an air sign, ladies and gents? It is cooking here, ladies and gents. I'm gonna crank this up. <clears throat> All right, the high priest, someone here wants to establish groundedness, truthfulness. They, I get an inclination that this individual wants to move towards, towards uh, formalizing a connection with you. All right, they want to formalize or make a relationship more significant than what it is. They want to progress it, they want to grow it. The will of fortune, ladies and gents, yes. Here I am complaining of the heat, drinking a hot ass coffee. Humans, humans, huh? <laughs> Anyways, guys, the Wheel of Fortune, flat out, somebody is interested in you and they are wanting to come forward. They are wanting to change the current circumstance into something more significant with you, Virgo. This is awesome, this is awesome. What's going on with the full energy? Let's look into this. Full energy, the King of Cups, flat out, this person has got a lot of feelings for you. All right, this individual is in a position of emotional maturity. So they, they could have been put through the ringer. It seems that you're dealing with someone mature. It doesn't have to be of age, but they have wisdom, if you will. Wisdom in regards to their emotional maturity. So this person knows how to deal with their emotions and this sort of wisdom only comes from actually going through trials and errors. All right, so that's, that leads me to, to expound on this great lesson here. Ladies and gents, if, you, if you're going through something tumultuous in your life, this adversary is actually good. It's here to transform you. It's here to bring growth. It's here to bring wisdom to you. All right, so long you accept it and deal with the challenge, with the difficulty of it, you're going to be forged, kind of like a diamond. In order for it, the diamond to be crystal clear and pure, it has to be put through the, through the fire. All right, similar to us, ladies and gents, in order for us to grow as beings on earth, we have to be put through adversity. So do not run from adversity. Do not run from dark moments. Do not run from challenges. Do not run from scary encounters because those scary encounters are what make a resilient and wise individual. All right. So back to this reading, ladies and gents. You guys got someone that is heavily interested in you. Someone here that's got a lot of feelings that they're wanting to give to you. What's going on with Virgo here? What's, what's going on with this hermit energy that I'm seeing? Let's look into this hermit energy. Repulsiveness, I'm telling you, someone here's a bit aloof, ladies and gents. Somebody here's a bit defensive. Someone seems to have their walls up. While someone is so keen to taking that leap of faith and wanting to express their love, the other individual is aloof and emotionally unavailable, so it seems. What is Virgo's energy in this situation? What is Virgo's energy in the midst of this situation? <clears throat> the tower, major paradigm shifts. Hmm, interesting. Virgo, why am I getting the sense that you're in this wounded warrior energy? It's as if you, you, guys, you could be dealing with something of the past that you're getting over. You're seeking to surmount something that has been a challenge for you, but you're pushing forward and yeah, 
most certainly. Due to that, you're not in the best of place to be absolutely vulnerable to a relationship. All right, but let's look further into this tower. Why the tower for Virgo? Yeah, well, look, guys, again, I want to reemphasize that energy of the wounded warrior. So I feel like you guys are have found some sort of, sort of, a certain strength within you to persevere, to push through, and all of a sudden, boom, here comes this opportunity that you weren't ready for. It's like a total game changer, ladies and gents. This can, in fact, mean you love. Interestingly enough, I'm going to be doing your new love reading after this. So if you guys are experiencing new love, I'll probably end up picking on the same situation. But nevertheless, let's keep going with this collective reading. There's information to be grasped. Even if this isn't your story, there's just wisdom channeling through this. And there's always things to gain from these readings, I feel like. Obviously, it depends on the reader, right? You guys could get some really idiotic uh, individuals reading. But nevertheless, um, let's look further. What's going on with the individual that you're dealing with? What's going on with the individual that Virgo is dealing with? Well, let me tell you, they are highly confident in wooing you. This individual, I, I get the sense that this person believes that they are going to be successful in making you succumb to their wooing. At least they're marching in confidently, ladies and gents. They're marching in confidently your way. But what's going on? Let's look further. Hmm. I might have spoken too soon, Virgo. Seems to be a bit of a... This, is, look, this individual is not standing on solid ground when it comes to you. It's kind of like there's a bit of perplexity. There's a bit of, what's the word, uncertainty on their end when it comes to you. All right? And I really feel that this person here has been has not been too honest in regards to the depths of their feelings. They've been behaving in a way that is, isn't aligned with the, with the immensity of goodness that they actually want with you. Possibly because, look, at, put it like this. It's like you're dealing with, you have interest in somebody that's emotionally unavailable. You're not about to say, come on, let's move in. I want, I want the world with you. I want to get married with you. I want a future with you. You're not going to say that. You're going to keep it cool. You're going to, be, you're going to refrain from expressing that depth, right? And that's what I'm seeing here. It's kind of like this individual has been acting in a, in a way that, that isn't aligned with the immensity of what they actually wish to give you. Nevertheless, this person, there is an element of confidence here in regards to them being victorious with you. All right? I mean, say less. Say less. They feel a deep connection towards you. They feel a magnetic draw towards you, ladies and gents. This is attraction at its finest attraction beyond the superficial all right into the mind into the emotions into the soul this this situation this sort of relationship can be felt as if it was actually destined okay your individual could be contemplating that you are a soulmate that entered their life hmm interesting i want to know more about virgo here what how how receptive are they towards this individual how receptive is Virgo towards this person? Well, you definitely are open to working and see, I, seeing eye to eye with this individual. All right, but I get that wounded warrior energy still. Mm. Tell me more. Yeah, so I don't feel that you're taking this too serious. You are open to this. I do see you open to collaborating with this individual and connecting and communing together. You are open to this new opportunity in love. Yet, it's something that is a huge game changer for you. I feel that you're still stuck on certain things that prevent you from absolutely being open to this love. But the person that you're dealing with is just exuding an element of confidence and, and believe and desire, really good desire, really good intentions towards you, Virgo. So it's going to be interesting to see where, you know, how this unfolds. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, I'm telling you, they got an immensity of feelings to give you. All right, ladies and gents, I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to continue this on the extended reading. I'm going to expand further on whomever it is that you're dealing with. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. I'm going to be delving into their feelings, their long-term intentions, their actions, and what lies in the near future for this connection. Otherwise, Virgo, in regards to this week, it's quite clear. You got someone that is interested and is making advancements towards you. All right, so it seems that you are the one being pursued here. You're the one that, that seems to be the prize here. So it seems, if you ask me, like you got a good week ahead of you when it comes to your love life, ladies and gents. I'll see you in the extended, or I'll see you guys in another video.